Hi, it's Lori at Positive Thanks Living. This is the 50 stack challenge. Number one is red, two is paint, three is blue, or a four is orange, five is fabric, six is pocket, seven is lace, eight is vellum, nine is black, ten is index card, 11 is masking or packing, packing paper. And we'll get to that as I try and put this back. 12 is crimped paper. 13 is thread. 14 is corrugated cardboard. 15 is sticker, 16 is square, 17 is napkin, 18 is washi, even those little butterflies are washi, 19 is pink, 20 is woman with an image, and you're very much welcome to uh, grab this template of an image on my site where I write. The link is below. And now I'm on to number 21. 21 is dictionary page. And 22 is book page. So this is 21 dictionary page. And I'm using this image, and again, you can get a free copy of this image at my site, Positive Thanks Living. And I pulled out the dictionary page for all the variations of kind, or kindly, or kindness. And I'm going to put them down on the guest check and make it into a little pocket, folding it up so that it's getting rid of the words that aren't anything other than kind. And I'm going to use some of that sari silk. I've used walnut stain as the uh, edge coloring. I don't have the best scissors here at the desk. They're somewhere else, my fabric scissors. So cutting this uh, chiffon silk, chiffon ribbon, I guess, yeah a little hard and my art glitter glue is somewhere else too so I was stuck with using the glue stick and yes I could have stopped filming and go gotten the other stuff but you know how it is once you've sat down once you have everything in front of you you just want to craft so I'm putting lots and lots of glue stick on each piece to make sure that they stay stuck down on the image below. <laughs> it says that a good book and a warm beverage make for a great escape. That's how I feel these days with it's the cooler weather and the wind is blowing. It's like, find me a book and let me escape for a little bit. I'm surprised at how easily this chiffon um, ribbon goes down with the glue stick really well and it's pretty again the scissors are <laughs> the problem trying to make the uh, chiffon ribbon fray just the right amount and cut it straight <laughs> you'll see me later pick up the guest check to try and correct the way the ribbon is or maybe I've edited it out, I don't know. Nope, here we are, struggling with that scissor. Do you have specific scissors for paper and other ones specifically for any kind of fabric? To me that makes sense. Remember when our children were young, 
there were certain scissors they were not allowed to use and it was because it was my sewing scissors and they knew it <laughs> oh gloppy glue stick yuck 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 and then it gets all over my fingers <sighs> I like art glitter glue and it's nice tiny nozzle and comes out just so. It's nice. But this works. It, it does the job. It finishes it up. Now I want to make sure that the little part that you see folded over becomes a pocket. So I decided to put the paper brads in. I have this punch that's just a tiny hole and it works with these tiny um, brads really well. So I punch just the little hole there and get the brad through on one side. And once it's through on one side, then of course I do it on the other side. And ta da, there is the folded pocket. feels like the little brads are too small, I don't know. Do you use larger ones? I s struggled a little bit just trying to get them through the hole and get them to go down nicely, but it worked out eventually quite well. And then it was a case of what was I going to put in that pocket? You can see to the left there at the top that I had a piece of dictionary page that I could have put in the pocket, but it ended up being too bulky or too it just didn't make sense to put it in the pocket so came up with another idea which you'll see in a second there we are there's the front of the guest check with dictionary page nope didn't work didn't like it gotta find something else so i have these words that i have used a stamp to create different words on the bottom of old book pages you can see, I think these books are from oh, the late 1800s. So I choose a word that I like, or a few words, and I just tuck them there in the pocket. And that worked out really nice. I like the very ragged edges in comparison to the straight edges of the dictionary page. And that's it. And we're done. <laughs> 50 stack challenge number 21 dictionary page and next comes 50 stack challenge number 22 which is book page and you'll see here that I have two pieces of paper I'm going to put together one is an old book page it and it's an advent poem the last part of an advent poem and I'm using old Asina Anne, that's her name, Oldesina, I'll link below. She has these wonderful digitals. They're little mason jar images on paper, of course. And I printed them all out and I thought, ah, this one will fit beautifully on this guest check. And I'm debating now how I'm going to do this. I decide that I'm just going to glue down the back to the front of the guest check or to the side at least. And there goes that gloppy glue. <laughs> Here we are, gluing down the mason jar image. And then I'll fit the book page on top. I want to be sure that the writing is hidden when I close the mason jar. So I can do that and fold it to the back. It'll work out really well. And I like the coloring, that beigey old book. I think this book is from the 1970s and it's all Christmas style stories and poems and just little line drawing illustrations. Now it's time to glue. Yes, more of the dreaded glue stick. I think I'm debating what am I going to do. And I go ahead 
and I do glue it. <laughs> and the glue down. Lots of glue just to make sure it stays where it's supposed to stay. These are little Teflon sheets that I can wash afterward. So I use them when I'm gluing or I'm painting or I'm doing anything that's kind of messy. And it came as a huge sheet and I cut it into four so that I can intersperse them when I'm gluing pages. Yeah, they're real handy. As you can see, there is so much glue on there. My fingers are so sticky. Ugh. <laughs> and now I'm wondering what else can go on there. What else would look good on there? It seemed kind of empty with just those two things on. What can I add? Yeah, it seemed empty. Didn't quite know. Was thinking, thinking, thinking. And then, you know what? When in doubt, when you don't know what else to do, guess what happens? You pull in the washing tape. <laughs> I have a drawer of washing tape, as you can see. Which one shall I choose to put down? The one that I do choose, not that blue one, that's Amity Bloom. And I thought, no, there isn't enough blue in there. I need something that looks a little more gray, more vintagey. And that's the one I chose. If you look at the washi tape closely, you'll see on both ends, there's this white border. And I think it was like a malfunction from the shop. So I had went over it with my um, craft knife and I just sort of cut into the washi tape. So as I unroll it, it's extremely uneven. And uh, yeah, that's how it ends up going on things. The white part isn't taken off part that I cut deeply into. But it does look nice with this venue. See? See now? Doesn't it look better than it did before? Less uh, sort of empty? And I have that little bit that I first pulled off and I make it work on the top of the guest check. Now time to trim with those silly scissors. You can be sure that the next time I do some crafting, I'm going to have my tools at hand or I'll get up. I'll stop being lazy and get up and go get it. Now, I like the idea of the uh, mason jar so much that I decide to trim the guest check so it looks like it's supposed to be there. They are really nice digital. There are so many scenes she has on the inside, like little um, sleighs and Oh yeah, lots. I'll link below to where you can see it on her Etsy shop. I have lots of things I want to do with those mason jar images. I printed it out on a really stark white paper. The white paper has a nice heft to it. It's, it's quite heavy and it's slick, but it was a little too white for this project. Not vintage to G enough and hence the inking and walnut stain might have been a little too dark but yeah that's what I had there I'm wondering now what what do I do next seems a little empty still even with the washing Okay, so let's ink some more. <laughs> you can see I'm using that uh, another Teflon sheet there, quarter sheet. And as I ink, you see where the image of the round brush is there? It's just got like one plop of brown. and That was a little irritating too. Does that ever happen to you? <laughs> so I decided to pull out my... Um, wax seals that I've done before wondering where I should put it I don't know okay 
another word. From, remember from the last project, the last uh, guest check, all those words? So I found peace because if you read the inscription on the um, little poem, it's about Christ. It's like an Advent kind of inscription. And I'm using the chiffon ribbon, the piece of paper, and the wax seal. And it's really quite apropos with having the wax seal with the bell because it says ring in the valiant man and free the larger heart the kindlier hand ring not out the darkness of the land ring in the Christ that is to be kind of adventy and uh, the wax seal has an image that I colored in with gold of a bell and the word peace above it And that concludes the two next 50 stack challenge. And they are book page and dictionary page. There's the rest of them. See you again soon. Bye for now.